also suffer. It's not just patrol. Curry it's County Sheriff John day. Bishop says they're stretching every dollar, but creativity can only get you so far. You just can't do any more with the resources that you've been given. When Sheriff Bishop joined the department in 1988, he was one of 16 road deputies. There were also three sergeants and three detectives. Today, I have four patrol deputies. I have no sergeants and I have one detective. The reason for the decline is a familiar one in Southern Oregon. Our ONC funds, our SRS funds, uh, have been declining since 1994. One way to get the sheriff more money is increasing Curry County's property tax rate. The current rate of 60 cents per $1,000 of assessed value is second lowest in the state. While residents have resisted efforts to raise them, a three-year $10 million levy this November may be their last chance or they risk state intervention. It just all adds to a perfect storm. Signy die. With the passage of Oregon House Bill 3453, Governor Kitzhaber can now impose taxes on citizens and counties to maintain a minimum level of law enforcement. The governor needs commissioners' approval for such a move, but by then, there may not be a choice. We flat aren't putting any money into that program. Sheriff Bishop hopes that Representatives Greg Walden and Peter DeFazio's plan in Congress, the Restoring Healthy Forests for Healthy Communities Act, will help. It's due for a vote this fall and could provide millions in relief for Southern Oregon's struggling counties. But if it fails, Curry County residents may see Salem intervene. In Medford, Craig Smullen, NBC5 News.